Oh, that's, that's it. Perfect. So it's Triple E Elvis 777. 777. 777. Clocking in, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, Triple E Elvis. With who? Hernando. Yeah. Hernando. He's been, he's been playing a lot of soccer Chicago. this week, you know, yeah. traveling the world, world, world tours, running his, you know, running. Cardio. A lot of cardio, bedroom cardio. Chasing after hoes. You know, you know, drop the clothes, drink up foes. <laughs> All right, we're done with that. Let's talk about something serious. Government policies. <laughs> yeah, government po Abortion. Huh? <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts? Let's end abortion, dude. Are we good if you want? I don't care. No, we're not talking about that right now. Are we? Okay. Because I will cry again. Because I'm Because the Bigfoot. You saw the Bigfoot? No. She was through her third trimester. Really? Oh, you didn't see you it. Know. Oh, my word, man. You Is got it on Instagram? No, it's on Facebook. Facebook. Oh, I don't All right, I'll, fi I'll figure it out, though. Yeah, we're out here, folks. We're out here. Uh, third video. This is my third. I'm the third. Is this your third, third video? Third time guest. The only yeah. person that has been on this thing three times. Not in a row, but three <laughs> times. I was like, I'm waiting for my conversation. I'm waiting for my damn. <laughs> My damn. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Keep my it going. Belt, my all time best. Oh, you need your, you belt, need your Emmy Award, right? That's all. You I need, need your Emmy and stuff. Yeah, where's that at? Yeah, that's a great question. Three for three. I'm still looking for mine. I'm still looking for the one. I, I'm still looking for the one I gotta give out. All right, yeah. we're not gonna go. We're not gonna run dry here. We're gonna. We're not gonna run dry. What are we doing? You got some questions. You got some questions. For I mean, I did, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing about this. What we do today? Oh, we did a lot we of stuff to today. Nunes? What's that place called? No, 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 no. We don't want to no name anything for oh, these people true. to come find us. Yeah, you're right. Us. We went to a nice <laughs> restaurant and we yeah. had we had some yeah. good food. Yeah, murders. There was a lot of like housewives and stuff. Oh out my there god, cheating on their husbands. <laughs> the pool boy was out there. Oh, the pool god. boy was out there. Yeah. There god, pool boys. he smacked my ass one time I walked through. It was rough. Yep. Our waiter talked a lot. It was real rough. Oh, he gave us like, his whole life story. He said his mom was depressed. Oh my word. And yeah. Well, there we go. We're on topic. Yep. Depression. <laughs> Depression. Just, you should not deal, deal with it. it. Yeah. What it was uh, C Mag say? C Mag says, and everything's going to see all right. <laughs> Who says this? <laughs> Who says this? The cousin, you don't remember that? It was yeah. C Mag, the guy from No Jumper? God, he's like, he's like some, uh, what does he say? He's like, he's like, hold up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The guy doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. He's old up. Yeah. 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 He's like, he's like, don't, don't suicide yourself, cuz, because everything's gonna see all right. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's it. That's a good motto. You know, if you're struggling out there with you know, yeah. mental health issues. If you're in the hood and you, <laughs> and you support the Crips. Yeah, it's, it's a good. great motto. Yeah, yeah, it's a great motto. You know, don't take your life. No, don't take your life. No. It's, you know, you're worth it. Dude, yeah. everybody here is, listen, it's not I even that cold. I give you the world, baby girl. It's, you it's, just got to be worth it. It's 55 degrees You just got to be worth it. It's oh, these people wear. Oh, you were telling a story a second ago. You should tell that story about the freaking heartbroken Frenchman. <laughs> heartbroken Frenchman. The heartbroken Frenchman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. So I knew Bro, a buddy girls are cold. Let's, let's tune in. Yeah. Tune in I, this. I knew So a buddy of mine I used to work with back in high school, uh, his girlfriend was very Let's give him like a nice, let's give him like I said I didn't tell you this. What? Let's give him like a nice name, like Larry or something. Okay, Larry. Poor Larry. Okay, Larry, and then his trifling ass hoe, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. God, Jessica. Anyways, you know, this is the first red flag that I saw. Yeah. She was very beautiful. And I remember she came one day, and they were all going to hang out. And I never met this girl. I This first time meeting this girl, I remember she wanted me to hang out too. Yeah. And she's like, we should just hang out. You should come. You should come. I'm like, why are you trying to get me to come? I don't even know you. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, she goes to France for school. They're still in a relationship. Okay. And um, him being the nice guy that he is, rents a hotel in England what because a, she's always what a to nice go to guy. England. Let's just talk about the sacrifice that that takes yeah, right there. The, the 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 plane ticket, having everything just settled in the the. the in England and getting oh, had have all of these things planned for them and knowing that she wanted her thing was to go to England too so she goes oh yeah we're going whatever she <laughs> says no last minute no last minute says no like and guess what like let, let's just let's be Larry for a second Larry's like baby I I booked the flight I got the hotel yeah I made everything happen I got the croissants wait I got a bottle of wine I'm waiting for you. I got the you. roses. I yeah. got the loo. I got the roses. We got the we got the uh, Astro Glide. We got the. We're here waiting. <laughs> we got the. 
<laughs> we're waiting, listen, we're waiting for, the only thing we're missing here, baby, is, is you. you. Is you. Is you. She hangs up the phone, I don't want to come. Yeah, I don't want to come. <laughs> In French. In French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so turns Larry. out she was with another dude. Larry, no. That this, this trifling hoe just goes with another dude. Tune into that, do you hear that? She was already with another person. So she, you know what that God, means man. is that she was in, because this didn't happen all, all at once. Yeah, it didn't just happen she overnight. She met the guy in, in, in France, and they were Facts. obviously had a thing. You Facts. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so unfortunately now he's stuck with a warlock. Oh my God. Hold on, but hold on, tell him about him. the, hold on, Larry went up on what? He went on social media, Instagram, everything. Oh yeah, he, he cried. He was crying, crying, man. He was on, on his story, he was crying. Larry was upset. All right. Was Larry was upset about this, and he let the world know. Okay, now are we mad at Larry? No. No. Should Larry not get his feelings in people that move far away? Probably. Probably not. But, you know, guess what? Did she have to do him like that? Not tell him that she no. had a man on the side in France eating his schwa schwa, his dirty Q tip? I don't think so either. No, no I don't think so. So is either. she to blame a little bit? I would give her some well, credit. A little bit. That's her fault. Well, well I mean, she made does the she, hold on, I will say this. Does she owe this man love? Probably not. No, no, probably not. City Girl Summer, maybe, You're but right. I mean, I'm not saying like, do you want to be a wife or but do you want to yeah, lead men also on? His, his little fault for like him him even yeah. maintaining a, 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 not even a, a cross state relationship. Yeah. We're talking about cross continental. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross yeah. continental. A CC. Yeah. And he cross actually, continental and he, and he still loved that. Like he actually thought, hey, this is going to work. Oh, yeah, this is going to work out while well, you're over here swamped in French cut. <laughs> French tips. Yeah. French dirty, tips. dirty French Q tips. Yeah. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the banana peel at the top of the rainbow. Yeah. Uh, that, that you don't cut off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. What, what would you say? 50 50? 50? You give him 50 50? Yeah, I guess it's 50. Or would you give her like 80 20? No, honestly, I no, no, get, taking away like, yeah, I'd say it's 50 50 to be honest because he should have known. That I'm was giving her flag. 51, him 49. And honestly, hold up. And you know what? How about that? Him not seeing the fact that now I fucked up in mm. the sense that I probably should have told him that he, this girl was like trying to get me to come over. Oh, to that, hang. That, uh, that happened to you? She was trying to get me. I, 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 I was she was trying to lick his French tickler. Oh that, my God. I was telling you that. I was telling you that she wanted me to go hang out. Go hang out with all of us. This is the first time I ever oh met God. her. First time I ever met her, and I just oh. remember her saying, like, come hang out. And I remember telling my coworkers at the time, because I didn't know. I was like, what? Yeah. She's like, should I tell Brandon? And she like, no, it's not that big of a deal. And I never ended up, like, I never hung Larry. out with him. Yeah. Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Larry. Uh. I, I remember uh, just not telling him. And that's probably, she probably, I mean, if she did that with me, she probably did that with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. She, so. She's probably... She probably did it with a few French sticklers. She tried to get that Mexican train. Yeah, huh? she tried to get that. that, that, that she, 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 she tried to get that Ronaldo's run. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's fucked, man. That, it's fucked. <laughs> that Jorge's Hobgoblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man. Three piece in a soda. Oh. That three piece in a soda. Oh, man. Yeah, it's tough out Yeah, it's rough out here for men and women alike. Now, the women can tell y'all stories, so whoever's got a good famous girl YouTube channel, y'all tell y'all crazy stories about men, because we're telling a crazy story yeah, about women. Yeah, yeah. That's not it's what we're not doing fair. today, though, but we're just doing it. Yeah. It is fair. I mean, they can do their channel. Yeah, they could, yeah, you're right. We don't hate y'all. We love women. Yeah. I love women. I love women. I do. But, you know, it's just sometimes you just gotta... Put them in their place. <laughs> yeah, you know, just love them. Love them. Love, love them from themselves. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. You give a woman the world, she don't want it. But that's we're not we're not going right. all there today. That's we'll save that for freshman fit today. Yeah, we'll save that. We're trying to have some fun. Yeah. We're just talking about we're talking about Larry and his you know, his endeavors. Cause guess what boys, you don't wanna be like Larry. You don't wanna be flying yeah, you don't, you don't wanna, wanna be buying plane tickets. You don't wanna be, you know, planning trips cro cross country off your, you know, what, imagine seven dollars and fifty cents an hour. Yeah, imagine how much money an that hour, yeah. Huh? It's a lot of money. So I'm saying, never that's, again, dude. Those sacrifices aren't ever thought yeah, of. The problem is that it's, it's women like that that make guys guys that are douchebags. Yeah, because the good guys are so tired of doing the the same thing over and over to the girls that and they they keep like doing everything to ask and getting nothing. So it's yeah. easier for you just to do what you want, and then if they don't want it, kick them to the curb and get the next one. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. There's people wearing masks out here. We're outside. It's mooks. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. You can do whatever you want. You, you can put underwear on your head for all I care. Yeah, I'll put <laughs> You can put underwear on top of your head if you want. I yeah. ain't doing it. But, uh, I will say this. You can't, when you meet somebody new, you can't automatically assume that they're just like everybody else. 
but you can yeah, understand right. characteristic traits that's like hey yeah. if they start moving like this exactly then you need to understand you how you should away. move yeah you, you should away. you should need to understand how you pull need away. to move exactly like that whole but. thing you know what the thing that's popular with these women is it's like yeah they'll be like oh if i don't Ooh. respond like, oh no this is what they'll say don't hate me if i don't respond with it in in like right that second i respond in like five to three or five business days yeah like, what are you talking about like yeah. you have your phone i get if you're at work you know what I'm saying? Like, I get if you're at work and you, you're 9 to 5 shift, whatever. But, like, you can't respond within that day. Like, get out of here. No, yeah. Like, what, like, what are you, two grown? Those are, like, young young mind, young women thinking. If you can't talk back to somebody when they just have a simple question. Now, I get it if you're blowing up their phone 24 hours a day. You should yeah, not do that. That's, Whoever that's, does that, yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. you're the problem, brother. Yeah. <laughs> well, thicker than a bottle of oatmeal. What do you say? Thicker than a bad oatmeal. Thicker than a bowl uh -huh. of oatmeal. Yeah. yeah. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. He's like, uh-huh. Seriously. Uh, Seriously. But no, yeah. If you're if you're texting like a little girl, men should only text really to just get like a date schedule or like a call them for like yeah. a, you know, like that. Yeah. Like why could, why can't y'all just hang out in person and get to know each other in person? Now if you're cross country, then maybe you should keep them on the side while you dibble like, and dabble in something public, else. Even out in public. I, but like for me, this this is the thing for me though. Like I have to. That's messed up with me. Is that I need to be. This is messed up. But well, don't share if you don't want to. I I have to feel. <laughs> You have to look a certain way for me to be actually want to be seen in public with you. Yeah, well, that's not that's not messed up for you. you you're, you're attracted. Look, we gotta think. If a wh listen, let's just be let's be quite frank. If a whale walrus was right here, are we just supposed to pretend like she's a Victoria's Secret model? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's, like I'm not even being disrespectful right now. I'm being realistic. This is real life, people. Yeah. If you're 80 years old, you're not getting the same attentions as you were when you were 20 years old. Yeah, it's just facts. facts. Yeah. Like this is not a lie. This is the truth. And facts. like people are like, oh my god, nah. who cares? We don't care. Yeah. So this is what I gotta say too. This is off topic. People that want to like say, oh, you're this, you're that, you're a misogynist, you're this, you're whatever, you're like anything. Yeah. First of all, I don't really respect your opinion if you're not based off of a a, a moral compass, right? So I think that everybody's basis the basis should be uh, Judeo Christian values, you know, stuff like that, the Bible. You should have a biblical standard yeah, you have a, of morality. Yeah, and then so then you could make your judgments from there. If you're doing, if you're not doing any of that, then I don't have to listen to anything you say because that's how I, I'm gonna dictate my life. Yeah, and if so, you, yeah, that'd be so much easier because now you know that this yeah. person is, is carrying themselves yeah. through a biblical standards. So now you, it, it takes takes yeah. a lot of the guesswork out of it. So I'm gonna put it like this. So if you are coming at me with a certain way, well, you got to come at me with a playbook. Now, am I a perfect representation of Christ? No, but I'm saying with other people that don't have that playbook, you can't even tell me anything. Like, I will be open to hear you, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to leave it to a face value. It's not going to dictate anything in my yeah. life. There's not going to be as mu nearly as much weight No, yeah. anything that you say. Yeah, I mean, I do like new ideas, and, and like, I do like wise men quotes and, yeah. and certain things like that. But it's not going to dictate how I function. Yeah. So, you have to have a standard. Now, everybody's doing this free-for-all, where it's like, oh, it's whatever I say goes, whatever I go. Now we got, you know, training boys walking around. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Really now y'all can have that. The hey, y'all can have that, but y'all are gonna ruin y'all society. I don't want y'all in my society. Like that's just that's yeah. rough. It's rough for y'all. Yeah. Don't want to hear it. But All guess around. what? When when a king came over and he took this land, he said, "I'm taking this land. I'm not I'm not begging it. I'm not asking nicely. I'm taking this land." People had to die for that. Now, y'all yeah. are willing to die for half the stuff y'all believe in, but I'm not even saying I'm gonna be as harmless as a dove and do my own thing. So, yeah. but I'm gonna always have my principles and belief systems. Now, who's ever watching? That's like far left because that's the usually the problem I have is like very liberal uh, progressive people yeah, yeah. Um, you, you don't really affect us because we don't think like you at all we're not even on the same scale level yeah the things that y'all are progressing towards we're pro we're progressing towards something else and we don't like what y'all like uh, we don't have the same ideas that y'all like or, or y'all stand for unfortunately for y'all I don't even like to defend y'all stuff you like the cops to defend you that you wanted to fund like it's like crazy seriously so good luck yeah, good luck, luck with that. yeah it's good luck work out yeah. It's not going to work out. I don't need luck. Y'all yeah, so. can cancel me. I'm still going to be good. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Seriously. I mean, name a, name a time that it, it, it works out and it doesn't. So. This no. never has. The, the, the only reason why it could even get as close as it is now is because people like us. Yeah. Who make things happen. Seriously. Seriously. So, it's like, you can keep living the life all you want, but one day you'll wake up and realize that you're the problem, or else you're just going to wake up. You're not going to wake up at all, actually. That's yeah. the sad part. That it's going to, like, society's going to crumble. What happens when all the stores don't have food in the, in the grocery stores? It's robbed. 
Yeah, what happens? Yeah, what happens when the, the robbers come out? Uh -huh. What happens when them thieves come out? What happens when them biker gangs come out that y'all don't even hear about? Y'all don't even know about them. <laughs> y'all don't even know about them. Seriously. What happens when them boys come out? They ain't playing. Yeah, they don't care so, about like. They don't care about you. They don't care about you at all. They don't care about how you feel. It, it's his. They're living by the sword and dying by the sword, but they're actually they're saying that you know what? Some of us are gonna die. We're still riding out. Yeah. If you're not willing to take that risk. What are you talking about? Yeah. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a point in our history, in our world, where talking's not gonna matter anymore, and that's a scary thing for a lot of y'all people out there. Yeah. Seriously. It's gonna so, be very scary. Yep. It's but but then also you got people like Bill Gates who want to like take over everything. They want to yeah. own every plot of land. They own they own a lot of farms in America. See, that's nuts. Well, so the, and and also people like him are say, talking about like. The world is overpopulated. Think about what that means. There's too much people on Earth. He's saying the world is overpopulated, and he has all the farms. He's gonna be like, all right, well, these farms we're not growing nothing. That'd they say nice. they say the average American has only two weeks of food in their in their grocery or in their, uh, in their yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying if that the average, in their pantry, the average, yeah. yeah. So we're talking about people starving, people dying. Nobody, I don't know how to all because crops. Listen, we're talking about people starving, people dying, all because we don't want to be moral. Yeah. And we want to push whatever we feel. We want to cut our nice. peepees off and act like we're freaking yeah, like heroes. Dude. We would act like Bruce Jenner's a hero. <laughs> That's tough, dude. Good luck. That's tough. Good luck. Bruce Jenner. Progressive. You know, I don't think he ever went through with his. No, theory. he didn't. He didn't. He's just a big faker. But they they like look up to him as his idol. Yeah, they, they call that guy a hero. And, and he never went even through dude, went through let's, surgery. Let's let's so let's get really into it. What about them taking Trump off the Nova podcast in one day? Oh yeah. yeah Five yeah, million yeah. And views. He said that he was gonna get. Uh, taken Bro, off. He already, yeah, he knew that. He and said he was gonna get taken off. Five million views in one day. Yeah. Was it off YouTube? I don't know. It was just off no, the podcast. Was, no, thing. it was on YouTube on their podcast. Okay. So they put their they they uploaded their podcast yeah. straight to YouTube in less than twenty four hours. Five million views took it down. So. Imagine. So what did he say? What did what controversial what controversial thing did he say? Nothing. Let's get down to the truth of it. Okay. So the truth of it is, no matter what he says, they don't like him. Yeah. Okay. But this is how they hide it. This is how they ridiculous. Th yeah. So this is how they hide it. This is how they push it. So they, they put up a fake rule. So now they said, oh, well, he's spreading fraud on a, a election. Or so he's spreading uh, false information on election fraud is what they said. False information on election fraud. One, I'm sure there's other people doing it out there. Yeah. Okay. So y'all y'all haven't even been close to banning all of them. Two, you still got like people like the Taliban on, the, uh, on YouTube talking about they're going to wipe off Israel off the face of the map. It's like certain things that are like immoral and uh, irrational. Yeah. And y'all just keep it up there because it's about y'all. It's about your bias. So, which is fine, but that's not a free speech platform. Yeah, it's clearly. Not. So, what I would like is for YouTube to crash and burn, <laughs> and then something else where you can have open dialogue, open opinion, open thought. Yeah. And to see whose ideas can challenge his other ideas. Because how they're doing it is their idea, they don't want to hear the other side, yeah, so they're just going to exactly. keep grinding. Exactly. But a lot of people don't think like they do. Yeah. They just have the public eye through our cell phones and our cameras. And it's just like. I can, there's gonna be a day where all this is gonna go. That's yeah. a beautiful thing. That all this is gonna go. Y'all think y'all got the edge right now, but it's coming. And I feel like it's coming faster than, than not. It's crazy. Yeah, I feel like it like, is. Like I feel like it it's coming faster for those guys than not. So people at YouTube should be scared. I'm not making threats personally. I just know that it's coming in for to an end for a lot of y'all. Yeah, I feel like a lot a lot of the people are like are making Patreons, right? So they're ma they're making yeah. it so like they don't have to abide by yeah. YouTube's guidelines, community well, guidelines and stuff, which is good because you're taking power of your own content yeah. and ownership. So you can say whatever you want, and you're still getting money. Well, even also the Nug Boys, the Nug Boys, they have their own uh, platform. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So they don't have like the Trump interview is like, still out there. It's just not on y'all's platform. A lot of the podcasts still have to be like a lot of the people that do podcasts still have to be like oh. Uh, they'll have ads, so they'll have ad reads, they'll have like Liquid IV and like Manscaped and like all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. And so apparently like, you know, a lot of them are going to Patreon so they don't have to like, you know, put like a public yeah. persona so that th that company that sponsors So they can them, feed their families. Yeah, doesn't Provide get for mad. their team. Exactly. So, yeah. which is good. So companies like, like Patreon is doing good because like, you don't have to regulate yourself. Like I'll say this. if if. If company, if uh, I, I don't want to blame all liberals because I know there's like some, well, there's yeah. a good middle yeah, ground. Sense, I think yeah. the middle ground is the perfect spot yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah. But I'm saying like a lot, the far left is the one that wants to silence voices. Yeah. So the people that want to silence voices, regardless if you're left or right, actually, if you want to silence voices and not have free ideas, then you're scared of your ideas being over trumped. So, uh, yeah. that means your ideas aren't that great. <laughs>
and that's why we shouldn't have to listen to them. Okay? I mean, like, you never thought of like, yeah, and you never thought of like, you never another thought perspective. Of, like, you don't want another perspective. Yeah, exactly. You just want to hear your own. You just want to listen to yourself talk. Yeah. And when you look up online, all you look up is is you don't look up at the other side. You just look up at your no, side. Yeah. And you don't take into opinion, or yeah, you don't take any other opinions at all. Yeah. It's just tough. And that's what happens. You know, that's what happens when you talk to somebody that just has an opposing viewpoint that hasn't taken the time to look at the other side. Is they'll start. They'll just shut down. A lot of times they'll just shut down. And I don't want to like, hear it. I don't, I don't want to hear it. it. Well, that's just untrue. Yeah. Blah blah yeah. blah. And well, then why? now, now these are the same type of people that will go behind your back. Now I don't even want to be around him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to so, go eat cake so with him. They didn't Ew. even want to have a dialogue. Ew. They didn't even want to have a dialogue. They just want to say that you're wrong regardless of what you it's, say. Instead of regardless of the facts. That's just what's important. They want to so, say that you're wrong regardless of the facts. Let's just talk about being a man for a second. As a man, you would want to confront your issues with the person you have the problem with. With the person that you have the problem with, you go to them. You don't yeah. go to Tom, Jig, uh, you know, Tom and Joe and freaking yeah, yeah. any of those losers out there to tell other people about, oh, he was treating me wrong. Hernando kicked a ball at my house and I got upset about it. You got to tell 10 people before it gets to him. Yeah. Now he finds out through somebody else. He's upset because you didn't come to him. Yeah. I'm upset because I didn't get what I wanted because I didn't go to him. Dude, I hate that type of stuff. Dude, you we, need to go to you, the person. I hate when, Get it figured out. It's like I, in work settings, well, it's just in any setting, but it happens most in work settings because I, I guess it would happen in high school if we were still in high school, but yeah. like, we're, the most amount of people that I'm around yeah. usually is during work. Uh -huh. So I hate when this happens. Like when I, if I do something wrong, and I, especially if I didn't mean it, and then I hear somebody else running their mouth of, over something yeah. that I did, especially if I wasn't being malignant, yeah, like you how being my intentions. Malicious. Yeah. Then um, yeah. this shouldn't matter. Like, or no, I, then I would want you to come to me and, and, and confront me yeah. about it. Not in a physical, it doesn't have to be physical. No, no, it doesn't have to be. It's that, just, it's that's, just, that should be the last. Yeah. That should be the yeah. last. Like I understand with dudes, Jordan Peterson always says there's like, a, there's like an underlying threat of physical Violence, violence with yeah. any any kind of conversation within a male, but it doesn't always have to get there. No, it never. You know? It's it's actually wiser and, and more humble, and I would say respectable yeah. to, to to deal with it to in, dialect with words. Yes, yeah. To have a dialogue with somebody else and come to an understanding. Because you could whip somebody, you could whip somebody's butt and still be wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like and you can whip somebody's butt and you can still they 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 still not see your point. Yeah. Or you and even then you could lead them away from your point. Yeah, it makes because it of what worse. you did. So it's not like yeah, it's not like a. Yeah. So that's just a tendency that people should start uh, getting rid of. Yeah, that really. I talking mean, behind I, I your just, back. I hate that stuff. Talking behind your back and then going to ten other people to, to tell some of your problems. Listen, when, like, I, I'll do this. If I'm gonna say something, if something's gonna come out of my mouth, out of Ryan about Ryan to somebody else, best believe that if he's here too, I'm gonna say it to his face as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because obviously, like. It's not like if somebody talks to me, hey, what's your opinion on Ryan? I'm going to be no, no, he's not here. I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm going to be like, no, I think he's a great guy. If I think he was a scumbag, I'd 